This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. Alamo, 188 years ago, was taken this week. 188 years ago. Okay. And it was a bloody fight for the life of Texas to be able to create a new nation, a republic, if you will. Looking back at the battle and being, only being, a Monday morning quarterback general, I get it, that I cannot begin to understand what it was like back then or what was truly going on. But I feel like I have a handle on what was wrong. One of the major things that was wrong was a single-shot, muzzle-loading, flintlock rifle. Lucky to get three shots off a minute, and that's when you're not being shot at in combat situation. Three rounds a minute. Yeah. And that is not going to work, especially for the defenders of Alamo that are going to be outnumbered 20, maybe 30 to 1. Maybe 30 to 1. So how do you even the odds or buy yourself more time than they did? And they did an excellent job for 13 days. But how could they have done better? Perhaps this way. The Native Americans had a short bow similar to this, not a compound, but a short bow, so they could shoot off a horse. It wasn't built for extreme pull power, but they fired at close range this way. And it worked reasonably well, absolutely. And an effective, efficient tool. And one that you could put an awful lot of arrows down range. An awful lot of arrows down range. And going on out there, you can safely say that you can put an arrow out there close to 200 yards. Close to 200 yards. And a continual barrage of arrows. If, for example, the 200 men had, besides their rifles, had gotten a hold of, traded for, from the Native Americans who had said bows and arrows galore, and enough arrows to make it worth their time, so that they could fire their rifles at extremely long range and hand them back to their wives to reload and then start shooting the bow. Arrow after arrow, arrow after arrow, and learning how to shoot them faster by simply keeping all of the arrows in one hand and simply firing accordingly. And it would lay them out there fast and accurate. And you're not trying to kill the man with an arrow, you're just trying to wound him. And that forces him to go back and others to drag him back and to help him. A bow and arrow might have meant, meant that they could put out some serious damage. Do you think that isn't going to put a dent in anybody coming at you and make them think twice about invading and charging you? Yeah. It's going to either force it to a night attack or something in that nature. They could have done an incredible job of holding out. At the same time, when it was getting close to the end, they should have used common sense. And common sense says you don't die for your country. You win that battle or that war by killing the other poor dummy. And so, after you've killed just so many, it's time to back off. Find a way out, punch a way out through the dark, and get as many of your people out as you could. But being a Monday morning quarterback for the Alamo, that's how I would have done it.